Hello, hi everyone, and a, a big thank you to everyone on the Michigan Democratic Jewish Caucus. Uh, it's exciting to see so many people and folks I know, uh, and uh, so I'm happy to be here with all of you tonight. So as Noah said, the 55th uh, campus is part of Ann Arbor. There's also part of Ann Arbor Township, uh, York and Augusta Townships, Pittsfield Township, and part of the city of Milan. So it's a very diverse uh, uh, and gerrymandered district <laughs> and uh, as many other districts it looks like a, a jigsaw puzzle uh, and so uh, I right now the the seat is held by uh, representative Rebecca Warren and she is term limited uh, and so it's an open seat uh, and so back in June of last year our team announced uh, my candidacy and since then we have been uh, doing the work that I've been doing uh, previously, but reaching out to voters, talking to folks. Uh, obviously, prior to COVID, we were able to talk with folks in person and have great events. And uh, we have an amazing intern team uh, where we have high school, college, and we used to have some grad students too, but um, primarily high school and college students, really getting them involved in our democratic process. And so that's been really exciting uh, to work with our young folks as well. So I am currently a county commissioner here in Washtenaw County. Uh, I was appointed to that board back in 2011 and then first elected uh, in 2012. And so now uh, I am actually the longest serving county commissioner on our board. Uh, and so have been able over the almost past decade, uh, seen a lot, you know, we, I came in in a recession uh, and then we've seen a resurgence and uh, now, uh, unfortunately, we will be heading back into uh, seeing those impacts on our budgets as well. So, but really excited and proud of some of the work as a county commissioner that I've been able to do. I've been able to serve as both the chair of that board and both the chair of Ways and Means for two terms, uh, so four of my years uh, on the board. And some of the things that I've been really excited about um, and have worked on with other folks in getting past are um, adding uh, gender expression to our non-discrimination policy, the creation of a food policy council, totally redoing the way that we provide our mental health services uh, to our uh, residents here in the county. Uh, while I was the chair of our Ways and Means, uh, I uh, was part of a contingency who went and uh, we were able to get for our county a AAA bond rating uh, that then also saved uh, our taxpayers millions of dollars. So those things I've we've been very, very excited about. Uh, but the policy that I'm most proud of uh, and having written the first version of it uh, and working with folks in, throughout our county uh, elected officials, residents, nonprofit uh, folks, um, businesses, education, the education system was our county's first ever racial equity policy. Uh, and what that did was it uh, set up so that we would have a system uh, that acknowledges uh, that racism exists and that it has had an impact in government. Uh, and in some ways that we have perpetuated that and that then as a governmental entity, we can do something about that. So that was back in 2018. We now have an office who's fully dedicated to that and uh, our director of that office, Elise and I work very closely together. Uh, and actually right now, I um, have just sent out to other colleagues and finished writing the first draft of um, declaring racism as a public health crisis here in our county as well. Uh, and it's something that we will be taking up at our board of commissioners meeting this uh, Wednesday. So those are some of the things that I've been able to, to work with colleagues on as a county commissioner. Uh, I'm also a clinical psychologist. Uh, I have a background in social work uh, and then I went on to further my education in psychology. I have a private practice here in uh, Ann Arbor. Uh, what brought me to Michigan was my postdoc work at the University of Michigan, and I worked at the Counseling Center uh, there with um, uh, students on campus. Uh, and that, then uh, after we had kids, uh, decided to, to move to private practice full time. Uh, so one of the things that I'm really excited about in terms of running and why I'm running is that I believe that the perspectives that we bring uh, matter. 
Uh, and, and right now, there are no mental health care practitioners out of the 110 state reps, there are none. Uh, so I think I, there's a real opportunity. I think that I would bring a perspective that folks uh, might not have or think about just by virtue of my training uh, and the person who I am and that combination that I have of over 20 years in the mental health care field uh, and the local government experience that I had. So I was really resonating, Regina, with what you were saying about revenue sharing. Uh, uh, yeah, gosh. Uh, so uh, I think that combination that we have, you know, and can bring of both of those things, I think makes my the perspective that I can bring really unique. Some of the things that I'm hoping to be able to work on with colleagues are access to health care uh, and particularly mental health care. Uh, we know here in our county that uh, for black men, they live on average 10 years less than their white counterparts here. And in the Latinx community, it's 17 years. Uh, and that's just in our county. And so uh, there are several uh, uh, issues in terms of healthcare that I think that we can look at, reimbursement rates, again, access, um, working with our local public health departments, uh, lots of uh, different avenues that we can take to really look at increasing our access to not just physical health, but mental health care. Uh, one of the things that, that uh, I've had the privilege of doing is serving on our community mental health board uh, since 2013. And so I have both and can bring both the public and private perspectives to bear on mental health care uh, and have know um, and have seen kind of the, the issues with both of those systems. Uh, and so hoping to be able to work with colleagues to again increase access to mental health care in general. Other issues that I hope to work on are environmental issues, which I also see as a public health as public health issues. I'd like to particularly work on local toxins. Here in our county, uh, we know that we have been working on one, we have a 1,4-dioxane plume. PFAS is an issue here in our county, but is throughout our state. Uh, and I know that we've spent millions of dollars remediating, remediating it, but we have a long way to go. Uh, we also have uh, lead issues here. And I know our school system is working on, here in Ann Arbor actually is working on changing over for instance, all of the drinking fountains to filter fountains um, in all of our schools. But there's still a lot of work to be done. And so hoping to be able to work with colleagues and have reached out to our experts here locally. So the Sierra Club and the Ecology Center, League of Conservation Voters, the Huron River Watershed, all of our local experts to really help inform policies that I can work on with other colleagues. And also hope to work on uh, uh, Regina touched on this education. I come from a family of teachers. My mom was a teacher. My sister's a teacher. Uh, so I have a real passion uh, for working with our teachers. And one of the things that I think is uh, a really one of the a big issues that we have up here is it in, you to take 275? in our state is uh, teacher and, and retention. That's okay. And so really hoping I mean, I can to focus on those and working on being able to, to increase both new uh, students going into the field and having teachers stay in the field. Uh, I was able to talk with a parent whose son by October of this past year had had three different teachers. Uh, and so when I think about continuity, and he was in third grade, um, when I think about continuity for that, that kiddo and his, his classroom classmates uh, and what must be going on for uh, the teachers to, to leave in the middle. I know how, how hard that must have been for them as well to make those decisions. I just feel like there's a lot that we can do. Which leads me to the last thing, which is being able to work on uh, the equity piece that I started here at the county. That work that I've done here at the county got noticed by the Michigan Department of Civil Rights. And right now I sit on a statewide task force and council where we're looking at these issues, not only in municipalities, but also in our educational system. So I would hope as a state representative to be able to elevate that work even more and to, to see what we could then do statewide. Uh, in terms of those issues, particularly with our, our current culture. I feel like folks are uh, more primed and ready to tackle these issues and willing to do it. So those are some of the things that uh, I'd like to do. I know that I'm nearing the end of my time, so why don't we leave a little bit of time? <laughs>